Welcome to the Quick Start eLab tutorial for tutors. During the course of this video, I'll be showing you how to download, install, connect up your physical VDAS enabled tech equipment product and set up a live feed to your students around the world. At the end of this, you'll be set up and ready to go to stream live data to engage your students from anywhere in the world with a one megabit internet speed. Before we begin, you need to make sure that you've either got Windows 8 or Windows 10 on your computer. Now let's go through the stages. Stage one, download VDAS eLab. Visit techquipment.com slash downloads and pop open the VDAS section. There are two versions to choose from depending on whether you have Windows 8 or Windows 10. So go ahead and click on one of those links. A pop-up appears, just add your details and then press the download button. Just to reassure you, we don't use these details for anything apart from to notify you when there is a new version of the software available. Unless, of course, you select the option to get marketing communications. On to the setup now. Head over to Downloads Location on your computer and extract the zip files. Double click on it to run the executable file and then click the box to agree to the licensing conditions and click Install. When the installation is complete, we're launched. Stage two, launching VDAS eLab. Click on the icon from your desktop or start menu. If your experiment is not already selected, select options and choose the VDAS application, i.e. the piece of apparatus that you're going to be running from the drop-down menu. Stage three, connecting up the live data feed. Under options, there is a tab called license manager, which you click in the pop-up, click apply license. Now this is where you need your license key. There is a different one for each experiment. This is the unique key that you purchased. Contact Tech Equipment by emailing customer.care at techquipment.com or contact your Tech Equipment supplier if you've not yet got your key. Now you've entered your key and pressed OK, an internet access window will display. Click OK to let it connect to your internet. Now you see a screen that is checking your license. Once it has verified this, you will be asked to enter registration details in this form. When these have been submitted, a window that shows your registration was successful will appear. You cannot use a license for more than one experiment. If you have any problems, check the license key is not already allocated to another experiment. Stage four, running an experiment and connecting with students around the world. Firstly, it seems obvious, but I'll say it anyway. Make sure that your physical experiment is set up and connected to the PC with the VDAS eLab software running. Within VDAS, select connection, then communication settings. At this point, you select the remote participant tab and select the option here, which is to share the experiment data. You've got an automatically generated unique ID in this box. You'll need to share this with the students to make the connection. But first, add your name and then click the apply button. When the connection is done, there'll be a tick here and you'll see a log of it in the box below. Well done, you have a live connection and once you start running your experiment, the data will be shared live. As students join the session, you'll see their names appear here, along with a time log. To reiterate, you will need to supply this unique key to students in order for them to connect to the live experiment and receive the data. When the students are connected, they will independently be able to start viewing, recording and analysing the data via the VDAS toolbar controls. For an introduction to these basic controls, check out the VDAS familiarisation video on YouTube. I hope you found this video useful. There is also one available for students so that they can also understand how to download, install and connect remotely. If you're not already doing so, you might like to subscribe to the Tech Equipment YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.